Hi guys, in this video we are going to cover autosomal linkage, but before we get into that, let's talk about the chromosomes again. As we said, the last pair of the chromosomes, the 23rd pair, that determines the gender is known as the sex chromosomes. In this case, is a male because you can see it has the X and the Y as well. Now the rest of the chromosomes, the other 22 pairs, okay, are known as the autosomes. So autosomes are all the chromosomes except the sex chromosomes. So autosomal linkage refers to the first 22 pairs of chromosomes, or if you like, in all the chromosomes except the sex chromosomes. Now let's do an example of a dihybrid uh, cross just to remind you how this works. If we have like, if we're looking at two traits, the color of the eyes, and if someone is going to be tall or short, these two uh, traits, these two characteristics are found on different chromosomes. For example, I have two chromosomes here, this one has the B, this one has the B, and on a different pair of chromosome, you will find the gene or the alleles that control the height. So you don't find these two characteristics on the same pair of chromosomes, you find them on different pair of chromosomes. So if we are going to do a cross between two individuals that are both heterozygous. Okay, so if we do the gametes for this person, then we're going to have B with capital T, capital B with small t, and then B, T, and B, T. So we can have four different gametes. The same applies for this person, and if you cross them, you're going to get the ratio 9 to 3 to 3, to 1. 9 is going to be brown and tall, 3 is going to be brown and short, the other 3 is going to be blue eyes with tall, and 1 is going to be blue and short. This is what we learned so far. Now what happens when these two traits are found on the same chromosome? For example, if we're going to use the same uh, letters, okay, the same symbols, then I'm going to draw the chromosome pair here, but they are both going to have the B here and the T here, B, T. When the two characteristics that you are looking are on the same chromosome, then they are said to be linked. That's why it is called autosomal linked because they are, fine, they are found on autosomes, on chromosomes that are not sex chromosomes, and they are also linked because the, both characteristics are found on the same chromosome. Now, when we cross two people, B, B, T, T, B, B, T, T. Now, if we cross these two people again, but this time, these two characteristics are found on the same chromosomes, things will change you cannot have all the combinations that you can get. For example, in the previous one, we had four different gametes. One, two, three, four, because they weren't linked. But now, since they are linked, it means that, as you can see here, because both dominant letters or both dominant alleles are found on the same chromosome and both recessive alleles are found on the same chromosome, it means that they are always going together because they are linked so the uh, the gametes that this person is going to make it's only BT or BT you're not going to have any other combinations the same apply here BT and BT because the both dominant ones were on the same chromosome so they always go together they are linked but of course we do that only if crossing over doesn't take place. If crossing over takes place, then these things can like combine. But because as we explained, crossing over doesn't happen all the time in all pairs of chromosomes. So we consider here if these genes are linked or if these genes are found on the same chromosome and no crossing over occurs, then the gametes that form are only these two. So we do the cross, we like make our Punnett square so one parent on one side, the other parent on the other side. 
then we do the lines okay and let's see our results so this is like all dominant this is heterozygous um, this one again is heterozygous and this one here is all recessive so what do you get as a ratio here you get three to one because brown tall brown tall brown tall blue short so it's three to one so the difference is that when they are linked when our um, traits are found when our alleles are found on the same chromosome then the ratio is three to one but when they are not linked then the ratio will be nine to three to three to one so why are the ratios helpful here because if you see an exercise that you have to do a dihybrid hybrid cross and you know that when you get heterozygous parents for both traits and you cross them when they are not linked you should get 9 to 3 to 3 to 1 but when the exercise gives you a different ratio a 3 to 1 that it means then it means that probably they are linked